last couple weeks these fish haven't been too keen on white bait, so we went and caught a ton of pinfish. And the pinfish are on the flats in Pinellas Point area. They're loaded. I think I threw the net what, six times? Five times? Five, six times? Uh-oh! Uh-oh! And the big boys are wanting the pinfish. Oh, something's under them. Is there? Yep. Are you sure? Yeah. Something's definitely yeah, there's the mark. Oh yeah. Nice. It'll be close. Yep. He was close to being dinner to whatever was following him up. And there's a there's a shark on the screen. See him right on the side imaging. Right there. He tried to come up and he chatted it. Oh, he was short. 23. Oh, and. <laughs> right now we went away from using our lighter poles because we're we're hooking bigger fish. And um, right now we're using fish finder rig, knocker rig, whatever you want to call it. Let's see how long it takes Chad. Now you'll see us do a little technique here in just a moment where we, we let the sinker go all the way to the bottom. What happens though is that bait fish swims away from the sinker and goes up in the water column. The fish don't like to hit it like that, at least in shore they don't. So what we do is we reel the, the sinker back up and get the bait fish to the bottom and it's automatic results right there. Uh oh. Just got eight. Did he really? Yep. God dang it. Uh, well, that fish just got eaten. That's bigger one thing, fish than my fish. Yeah. It's one thing we have to deal with during the summertime is, is sharks. They're not too bad in the fall and the winter and that, but um, during this time of year, it's either sharks or dolphins. But as I was saying, is that when we reel the sinker back up, it catches up to the bank bait and then we drop it back down again and when we drop it back down usually the bait goes with it unless it's a really 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 big bait then it takes several times of doing that to finally get that bait to the bottom and um, as you saw it didn't take long once Chad got that bait to the bottom it was uh, it was eaten immediately and then that fish was eaten by a bigger fish unfortunately Oh man! <laughs> there he is. I told you it was a big one. There's a huge shark down there. <laughs> Holy lord. This looks like he got a hold of that one. Look Does at the fins. Yeah. Chad had to go to his big boy pole because he put down a bait that is huge and he already got his butt whooped on his little, on a smaller pole so he went to his big boy pole and now he's fighting a monster. We've already got one in the... Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the size of that puppy. Nice. 
That was on, well, no, that was on the one. Yeah. The special bait? Yeah. My hook just went through my loop. Oh. Come on, man. Nice one, Chad. Nice one, yeah. User error. I think I better retie after that.